Hello class, welcome back. Okay, just a recap. This uh, what we have covered so far. Stating the definition of AR. Stating the definition of MR. How to calculate MR. And how to calculate percentage composition of an element in a compound. The last thing for today is how to calculate mass of an element in a given compound. Turn to page 5. To calculate the mass of an element in a given mass of a compound, the formula is given as this. Total AR of the element out of the MR of the compound times the mass of compound. I'll give you some time to write this formula down. Alright, as you can see, this is very similar to percentage composition. But instead of multiplying by 100%, we are multiplying by the mass of a compound. And as usual, the best way to explain this concept is by giving an example. So let's take a look at example 4. Calculate the mass of copper in 32 grams of copper sulfate. I would like you to imagine again, okay, we have copper sulfate where the MR is 160, we have calculated previously. Part of it is copper with an AR of 64. Let's compare the two methods, percentage composition and finding the mass of an element. Okay, in percentage composition, if the entire thing is 100%, copper makes up how many percent? Okay, that is what we were doing previously. That's why we multiply out of 100%. For finding the mass of copper in copper sulfate, given 32 grams of copper sulfate, if this entire thing is 32 grams, we are trying to find out copper would be how many grams out of these 32 grams. Okay, that's why we'll multiply by the mass of the compound. Okay, so as usual, we must find the MR of the whole thing first which we have calculated previously to be 160. Next, using the formula, the total AR of copper out of the MR of CuSO4 times 32 grams. So copper out of and the entire thing times by how much there is. So 64 out of 160 times 32 grams. And if you calculate it, you will get 12.8 grams. I'll give you some time to copy down the workings. Alright, next. Example 5. Calculate the mass of water in 12.3 grams of MgSO4.7H2O. Alright, so this is a very big compound. We have magnesium sulfate with 7 water attached. So as usual, we need to calculate the MR of the entire thing first. So I'm just going to say the compound as compound. So I don't need to say the whole thing again. So the MR of the compound would be 246. Okay, look at the uh, workings. 24 being magnesium. 32 sulfur. 16 times 4 will be 04. And 7 water. 7 bracket. 1 times 2 plus 16. So the MR of the entire compound is 246. Okay. What is the mass of water in 12.3 grams of this compound? So following the formula, we have to find the total MR of water out of the entire MR of the compound times 12.3 grams. Okay, it's very similar to a previous question. Instead of finding the percentage, I'm finding out of 12.3 grams. How much of it is water? So, we have 7 water molecules out of the entire 246 mR of the compound multiplied by 12.3 grams. If you calculate it out, you will get 6.3 grams. All right, I would like you to highlight okay, the 7 water molecules so you remember that there is 7 of them. I'll give you some time to copy down these workings. Okay. 
and that's it for today's lesson okay try checkpoint 5 on your own okay and you can check your answers below take care